Disturbing new details in Paulding County. A mother is accused of murdering her own children and then setting their home on fire. She has been denied bond. 40 year old Darlene Brister showed no emotion as the judge made sure she understood her charges during today's hearing. CBS 46's Don Shipman is live at the home where that crime unfolded. And Don, a makeshift memorial is now growing there in front of the home. It's a heartbreaking story. It's been three days and still people are stopping by, dropping off items, building to that memorial. Take a look here. You can see some flowers. You can also see candles and stuffed animals. Just about 10 minutes ago, a woman stopped by with more flowers. This is a quiet community. It's full of cul-de-sacs. The homes are close to each other. Neighbors are still trying to make sense of what happened. Ordinary family, I guess you'd say, whatever. But Tom Rakovic lives just around the corner from where it all happened Friday night. As they'd come up in the cul-de-sac and go over there, we'd see him time and time. Three days later, his quiet neighborhood still swarming with police and state arson investigators. Ms. Brister, if you'll stay in place. While investigators sifted through evidence at the house, Darlene Brister appeared before a Paulding County Court judge, showing no emotion as she answered to the charges of malice murder. The 40-year-old is accused of stabbing two of her kids and suspected of setting fire to her woodwind drive house, killing three of her children and badly injuring two more. You know, I sit here and I'll read uh, or listen to news, all this other stuff that happens around whatever. And of course, if it happens away from you, you know, you think about it, you know, whatever. You may be concerned, et cetera, like that, but it, it doesn't, doesn't hit you, I guess, whatever. But when when yeah this is that close and in total seven children were home with their mother Darlene Friday night when police received that 911 call about a domestic disturbance witnesses say that they could hear children screaming and saw two teens who said that they had just jumped from a back window to escape authorities tell CBS 46 by the time first responders got there they found two children already dead a nine-month-old and a three-year-old both with multiple stab wounds Neighbors say that the family seemed close. They exchanged waves and hellos, went out for walks. And you just try to figure that out, you know. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and back here live, the home badly damaged by fire. The back of the house received the most damage. Paramedics rushed two other children to the hospital. At least one is still in critical condition tonight. Now, no bond for Brister. She'll stay in jail for now. I'm told that she'll most definitely see another murder charge. So in all, it'll be three murder charges. And then also, she's possibly facing arson charges. Live in Paulding County, Don Shipman, CBS 46 News.